Right, we're going to turn our attention now to one of Kieran's former sides, Newcastle, after a fairly rough start to the season. Um, do, do you think they... Well, they obviously did overachieve. Do you think by finishing the top four last season that Eddie Howe sort of created a rod for his own back? Because the, the expectation levels now, this season, are so much higher than perhaps they should have been at this stage. Yeah, when he first got appointed, I kind of thought he was there to steady this ship and then a big, real big name, like we're talking like a Mourinho or someone, would be the next manager. And like you said, he'd done so well and rightly so, he's getting all these plaudits and obviously being out of the Cups, uh, the the League Cup and then and the Champions League and then they're not doing so well in the league, the pressure, the pressure is on him. Um, and I've said this to a few people, if, if Newcastle don't get in the Champions League, does he lose his job? It's, it's, it would have sounded crazy at the start of the mm. season, but I just know how owners think. And what do you think the answer to that is? I think he loses his job, mm. and I think that is so harsh and it's absolutely bonkers. But this is the way football go. When you're an owner of a club and you're seeing the success and you're seeing the Champions League football, they think it's a given. And I also I know that Eddie's style is it's all about intensity and it's probably the closest to a Jurgen Klopp kind of style and I remember Jurgen Klopp when he first went into Liverpool the amount of injuries had where players they have to adapt to that style and when Newcastle were in full flow their intensity I've watched them a few times live at St James's Park and it's through the roof and it doesn't surprise me that they're starting to get the injuries now because to play that way constantly 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 it takes a it takes a toll, and it took a toll with um, Klopp for a, a couple of years. But Klopp was given time, so I would say give Eddie Eddie Al some time. But I just know how owners think, and it would be a absolutely travesty if he if he was to lose his job for not coming in the Champions League. I think probably the fans would would like to see him be given time because as you 100%. said, he's done a great job. But as you said, there with the owners, with the amount of money they've got, they've had a taste of the Champions League. It was fantastic. If they were to finish like ninth or tenth or out of Europe completely, mm. I'm thinking I'm with you. I think they'd go. Do you know what? No, enough's enough. But again, we keep hearing about all this money they've got. They're like in January, he's talking about we don't know what we can do because of FFP. Yeah. So it's not like he's just got a blank. He's had a blank checkbook, checkbook yeah. and just gone absolutely mad. He hasn't. Um, so I don't know what Newcastle are going to do. Hopefully. It was a great result in the derby. If he'd have lost that, then yeah. he would. Have, he was under serious pressure. But do, uh, do you feel, as a former player at Newcastle, do you feel the expectation levels when you play for Newcastle because they are sort of sleeping giant, right? They are this big club, and they've always been in sniffing distance of getting to major either finals, which they've got to, and they've been beating in them, or being very close to becoming Premier League champions on a couple of occasions. Do you feel there's there's even more pressure on whoever manages that club because it's Newcastle United? When I was playing i thought there was a unrealistic expectation but oh, did you say unrealistic yeah okay. where i just thought that they expected us to win but that's not the case they're just so desperate to just <laughs> silverware honestly they could finish i think if they finished just above the relegation zone and won the league cup the fans would be partying for they just want that one bit of glory um that's all they crave uh, so when the frustrations come out, it's not because they expect to, they just they just so much want to win a, a, a trophy. Um, and like I said, like, to be fair to Newcastle this season, in the League Cup, the draw they had, they had Man City in the first round, Man United yeah. away in the second round, Chelsea, it's like, they just cursed that club for mm. winning a trophy. Cursed. Has it surprised you that they haven't got one in because they got to it close last season getting to Manchester United in the final? You look at the, the size of the football club, it's a huge football club. Is it surprising that they haven't won something yeah. for a long time? It's it's mad. Uh, when I was a player there, we three semi three FA Cup semi finals we had. I think I think we got to the UEFA Cup at the time semi final. We lost to a Marseille who had a drug bow, deserved yeah. to win it. But the season that probably hurt me the most was when we were in the UEFA Cup again. And I think it was the quarterfinals. We won the first leg against Sporting Lisbon 1 0. Then away, I scored early uh, to put us 2 0 up in aggregate. Then I think, shock, I ripped my hamstring. I came off, and it was after 60 minutes. Titus come off in that game. We're in the bench, and we're like, we're in the semi finals of the UEFA Cup again. And then they score four goals, you're in bang, 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 bang. And you're thinking, 
again, I just it's a curse. That club has got some voodoo curse on it and it just needs to be broken. And once it's broken, mm. I think the floodgates will open, especially now with the, the new owners they've got. Uh, just quickly, because we're going to move on, we're mm. going to talk about your career in just a moment. Do you think that Eddie Howe will be the manager at the end of the season if they finish outside the Champions League? No. You don't? Okay. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.